everyone, welcome to Toy Break, episode 200 and squid, I mean 219. I'm Aileen. <laughs> I'm George. I'm Nate. Welcome back to the couch, Nate! Yay! I like that you clap for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to. <laughs> when the hong's not going to. Oh, oh, maybe we can get Steve to clap for you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring reviews and news all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but not limited to, designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, events, how-tos, artist interviews, hint, hint, hats. Hats. This is Hat Break, just in case anybody was wondering. Uh, let's start, as we always do, by thanking our site sponsors like Tenacious Toys. Fuzzy Balls Apparel. ESC Toy. ESC Toy. More art than toy. Superpower Collectibles. DKE Toys, Mr. Toast, 3D Retro, Paysaber, Grumpy Bert, Happy Panda Toys, Art Attack Toys, Button Lab, and Dragatomi. Thank you so much to all of them. And we also have a contest going up. We're like zipping. It is a machete <laughs> contest. So you can win the machete action figure uh, given to us by zombiesandtoys.com. Given to them. Given to you by zombiesandtoys.com. Uh, all you have to do to win this is go to the contest section on the forum and post your favorite way to kill a zombie. You get points for your creativity, and we are picking the winner from the one we like the best. Hey. So thank you to Zombies and Toys, and go there for all your zombie shopping needs. All right, we have two uh, quick questions to get to before Sorry, we, we get to Nate. I'm no, no, please. <laughs> Stop reading ahead. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so this question comes from Jose over on Facebook. Thank you for writing to us. He wondered, what blister-packed toys on the wall? Uh, we never I mentioned... I was wondering why you turned around. <laughs> we never mentioned this when we put it up on the wall a few episodes ago. We didn't. Should I so take that is it a down? good question, Jose. We have pictures. I'll just put the picture up. Okay. Um, so that is a custom a set of custom OMFG figures. Um, OMFG as zombies, and that's by uh, Dan, our friend Dan Brodzik. Amazing and, uh, painter. Yeah, he's an amazing painter, and uh, he put that together and did the packaging and everything. So so thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. They're really cool. <laughs> that's what that is. That's pretty rad. Keep an eye on SpankyStokes.com for some of Dan's work coming soon. Oh, yeah. I don't know when that's going up. I already saw it on Spanky's Instagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sneak peek. Uh, we have another quick question from, from one of your friends, George. Oh, good. Hey, this is uh, Rob Rogelski, um, George's old friend from college, and I just wanted to say hi. I'm loving the show. I thoroughly agree with George about the Mighty Spector. Um, that is an incredibly crappy, crappy toy. And I was disappointed because I thought at the end of your show, the toy break would be the Mighty Spector. If there is a toy that deserves to be hit with a hammer continuously until there is nothing left but dust, that would be that toy. Anyway, um, love the show, you guys. You're great. Talk to you later. Bye. How do you decide what toy you're going to smash? It's kind of random. Well, first, thanks, Rob. Thanks, yes, thank thanks you, for Rob. watching. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, go follow Rob, uh, Rob Ogowski on Facebook. Uh, he's got amazing art. He's an amazing artist. So uh, go go follow him on Facebook. But, uh, dude, that figure was $30. Yeah, I wouldn't smash I'm it. I'm not smashing it. Like, I hate well, it. You're also kind of a completist. So, like, yeah. it's part of the they line. They have you by the balls. Yeah, they got me. They, they like, have me, too. It's on the shelf. Like, I had to put it on the shelf. It's hidden, it's well and hidden. you can't see it on the I shelf. I couldn't even see it. <laughs> it's hiding behind, like, a unicorn. And I like, saw it. A unicorn? <laughs> Her name is Swiftwind. Yeah. Whatever. Please. I wouldn't have that toy on the shelf, either, but I have to, because it's part of the line. So, no, I'm not I have a rude it. gesture that I'm making to you from under the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's $30. I'm not smashing that. Um... How do we figure out ones we got? All right, so sometimes most people those, send us stuff to smash. Most of those are things that we've had that are broken or taken apart for customs or something else. Yeah. Um, sometimes people will send us, like, Happy Meal toys or things like that. They're like, smash this. Sometimes people will send us stuff that we have already have. Mm. So if it's a double, sometimes we'll be like, well, I mean, don't, don't I don't want to just throw it away. So we smash it. It's hard to smash it. We can I'll, burn these. I'll cry. <laughs> we could burn your stuff. <laughs> no. Um, I wouldn't smash your stuff. Unless it was already broken. If you had a broken one, 
Do you mm -hmm. want to smash? That could be fun. I'd still keep it. Sometimes, I'll let yeah. you smash it, though. <laughs> Sometimes when they're broken, maybe. We'll smash maybe. Okay. If I have something to smash, we'll see. You let us know. Okay. You, you know where to find us. <laughs> Early on in Toy Break, we had a uh, an awesome, like, sideshow statue that was, like, expensive sideshow statue, but it was, like, it was a broken one. Yeah. So I was like, what are you going to do with it? And it was broken and missing parts. So it was like, I have one of those. when you look at it, it looks like it's all there and everything. So it looks like we're smashing this like, expensive <laughs> thing, but it was like broken. and. But we pieced it back together so that we could break it. I have a, a broken Hulkbuster Iron Man from from work. It got broke at work. It wasn't mine, which pisses me off. But anyway, <laughs> it ended up being, me, being mine, and it's still broken. But maybe I'll fix it someday. No, you won't. Smash it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Too much Assassin's Creed to play. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so should we say like who you are and why you're wearing why we we're wearing these hats? Yeah. You're wearing a hat. I have. I, I mean, why we got attacked by these squibs? <laughs> <laughs> and they're eating our brains. <laughs> Feels good hat. though. It's like warm. a massage. So I'm Nate Mitchell. Hi. Been here once before. That's Welcome it. back. That's, That's it? it? That's, That's all, all you, you are? That's all I got. What do you do? What's your company? Where's Squid your website? Inc. Squidkidsinc.com. Also on all the other social blah blahs. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. You're so connected. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it's so bad. I update so, once a, every once in a while. Once a, every once in a while. Yeah. Once not, in every Not month. very regularly. Sorry. So you make stuff. I make toys. What do you make? I make this is apparel. This isn't a toy. That's uh, kind of a toy. I, I'm just messing custom with you. says it's a toy. <laughs> well, if custom says this is addictively fun. Yeah. To play with, because it's just like yeah. To You're going to see me wearing this people. at Comic Con. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe next time we have you over in the winter when it's not I as hot, yeah. and we wear these. <laughs> yeah. You know what you can also do at Comic Con? You don't want to lose your friend, so you you tie them together somehow. <laughs> That's gonna be. It's going to be a little Ding close. Thing. And then you have to stay <laughs> together. <laughs> little squid buddies. <laughs> squid buddies. So, yeah, we got the oh the giant one. I was just kidding. I knew that was there. A little too big for a hat. Maybe I don't know. for you. Have you seen his head? It's huge. <laughs> that could be oh, good. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the sultan of squids. That's the one I'm going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's, That's pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> So how much do these guys go for? So the hats are 30. That's reasonable. These are very nicely made. The big guy's 60. This size right here is 20. And then Cute. the little guys are 10. Wow. Look at that. That's like, and you finally he's got bigger, him. His little hand yeah. is bigger than one of those. This guy's four feet in length. Oh, my that's, God. It's ridiculous. That's what she said. <laughs> and you finally got this guy with the swimming yeah. eyes. Also, same guy on hat. But I, I believe he was uh, requested quite a bit. Yeah. Perhaps your number one request. Maybe. maybe. I did get a lot for the hearts, the too. He's pretty so. awesome, too. Try to listen to people. See what they want. The blue's so cute, though. He's like, one. I'm serene. It's a I'm good asleep. pillow. Is he angry or is he asleep? Eh, he's Sleep squinty. Angry? He's squinty. <laughs> squinty kids. <laughs> he's actually going to be one of the main characters in, in the story I'm working on. This guy's awesome. The blue guy. So. Really? Yeah. Working on a storybook. And more, hopefully. So now, what do you tie your squids onto? We have one on our rearview mirror, yeah. which works out pretty good. And do you try it on anything else, like your backpack? or? We have friends that have them on their book Giant cell phone charm? <laughs> yeah. You'll never lose your cell phone again. <laughs> <laughs> or you could get these ones attached. tie them. I mostly keep them in my backpack oh, and then take photos with them wherever I go. Oh, smart. So. Very smart. Which I'm you can see on your blog. Guys. Yes. At? At. Squid Kids Inc dot blogspot.com <laughs> I had to Not remember that yeah squidkidsinc.blogspot.com is the blog oh, the oh blog. right right but you can get there from squidkidsinc.com yes cool so that's all you've been doing that's all Squid Kid, Squid Kids Inc has right the only thing I'm doing okay so <laughs> hat, hats and plush yeah that's all you're no, doing we're doing lots more so we have the big tendos out there still tendo yep. that's you yeah that's great surprising it is surprising <laughs> <laughs> so we got more of those coming. Um, some still out there. Some are sold out. The Kozik one sold out, so that's cool. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Only made 100, but they're gone. Doesn't matter how many made, of, made as long me, as they're sold so. out. <laughs> there might be in stores still, but I don't. I might have two, but I'll probably keep one and a half of them. 
<laughs> Alrighty then. And so, then, so do you have anything coming out for Comic Con? Mini figures, what? mini Tendos. Let's see. This is the one I did. I don't know if you can see it. You're really way too enthusiastic about all these Yay, products. Yay! I'm a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Best salesman on the planet. So this is this this is a scaled down version oh, of the big one, right? Was yeah, this label exact. on the big one? Uh, it's a little different. The big one had uh, A drive and B side on it. Okay. I was worried that the graphic would be too small, so I just took him and blew him up. Okay. So it's still standard issue. They're so, so cute, you guys. Look, it's like the size mm -hmm. less than my hand. Yeah. I should have brought the original because to see the size difference. It's fifty percent, but it looks way smaller than. 50%. Oh, it totally looks way smaller. Yeah. yeah. These are but, uh, so. These awesome. are some of the ones that have been released or viewed on Instagram and whatnot. So Jerome. Hyperactive Monkey, little Tracy Tubera. Nice. Um, Jesse Hernandez did his. Is there yeah. is there one that you could show that has not been put out there yet? Mm, a gold. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So we did twelve artists, sixteen versions. Four are gold, and two of them are unique golds, and two of them are the same label. So like. Those guys, same label, just a gold version. And then one other is a, a gold version of one of the grays, and then two unique. Oh, ones. nice. Okay. So. so there's 16 total to collect. 16 to collect. How many comes in a case? 20 in a case bag. Nice. Let's show that. I'm, this is awesome. Like, cool. the big ones are cool, but somehow these are even cooler. Yeah, I'm really happy with You them. took a cool product and made it cooler. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so this is a case pack. And all the blind boxes. It, the box looks so little, it's surprising that this fits in there. Yeah. But these I are all opened. You. Sorry. Let's see one. <laughs> but they will be blind. Yeah. Okay. So they'll be in little black bags Just inside like there. Porn. Yeah. That's oh. amazing. The box looks, looks great. Yeah. Thanks. Very exciting. So. Um, have all the artists been? Yeah, you've revealed the artists. Yeah, all the artists are revealed. And then. Uh, but I don't, I'm leaving it up to the artist to show theirs. Oh, okay. So I yeah. So I don't know if all of them have shown theirs. Like I don't know if Luke Chu has shown his. Matt Jones doesn't have his yet, so he hasn't shown his. <laughs> and uh, how about Doctor Quee Quee Stone? <laughs> has he shown his yet? <laughs> I don't think he has. I don't think that's how you say it. Though. That's not how you say it. <laughs> I think that's it's how George says it. <laughs> Quest One. Yes. Oh, Quest One. <laughs> I'm kind of liking Quee Stone. <laughs> And of course, uh, you might remember Scott Tolleson showed us his. Yes. So that and was then cool. uh, who else is there? Doctor A. Dr. I don't. A. I don't know if he's shown his yet. Uh, Andrew Wilson. I don't know if he's shown his. Somehow, yet. this figure that's bigger than the box comes in this box. Just so you know. It's, it's price like value. Magic. <laughs> it's Harry Potter magic. Arms and legs, customer assembled. So. Oh, so it's like a DIY also. No, it's just little legs. It's yeah, so these. This it's is a, how it what do you yeah. call those? The, uh, it's a kit. Like some, a, some assembly required. Some <laughs> assembly required. Batteries not included. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. So, so blind box, and they're going to be. I'm sorry, did you already mention the price? Uh uh. Ten, ten U.S. dollars. Beautiful. So trying to give us the best deal we can. And these will be at Comic Con. If all goes well. No, no. These will be at Comic-Con. Yes. Say it with me. These <laughs> will be. <laughs> will be at Comic-Con. I will have a very small amount at Comic-Con for sure. Oh, because they're little. <laughs> and then we're, we're going to do uh, some limited, edi uh, limited edition ones. So this guy is our limited edition package. So you'll see what you're getting. And uh, right now I got one from Hydro74. Do you know his artwork? Mm -mm. He's pretty fancy. But, uh, and then Luke Chu is supposed to do one. Cool. A variation on his that's in the standard issue. And then, so extra surprises at Comic Con. Yes. Where can people find you at Comic Con? Booth one. Nope. One. Uh, booth Check the five notes. one three seven. Five one three seven. I got terrible dyslexia. That's okay. <laughs> Just find it. He's around the toy section. You yeah. can't miss him. I'm by the t-shirt tower. Got that there. Yeah. Well, it's that giant Tendo back there again, and uh, yeah. Fun. Pretty fun. Very cool. It sounds like you've got a lot of exciting stuff going on. Yeah, hope to do more. Comic Con. Have to make some money back before we uh, make more, but. <laughs> it's 
part, then, of the, part of the thing. So. That's the circle, the never-ending circle. Hope to do some Kickstarters one of these lifetimes, but... I can't recommend Kickstarter enough for projects, so that would be really cool. Yeah, so hopefully do that, because I, I want to do the other figures. I should have brought those, because I have engineering models of the B-side and A-drive. Oh, you do? In both sizes, but I just don't have the cash to, right. to get them made yet. So. I know that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so. Lots of ideas, not enough money. <laughs> yeah. But uh, someday. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, Squid Kids has been very busy lately. Yes. Thank you for coming on to show us sure, all sure. about this. I, you know what I think this marks? Being the first kind of like Comic-Con stuff we've really talked about. Countdown to Comic-Con? Countdown <laughs> to Comic-Con! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Could you be any more excited <laughs> about that, George? Or any less I love excited? The, I love the graphic. I can't help it. The sound effect. It's, it's awesome. It's like stuck in your head, right? Because it it's stuck in my head. Well, it's officially June now, and now yeah. we're allowed to have the countdown. We can't, couldn't do it before. It, it was June that. last week. It, yeah, but not into it. It was like just slightly... And Comic-Con's like two weeks earlier. Yeah, but now we're in. Now we can start it. Well, George <laughs> says we're in. Now it's official. So it's Comic-Con season, everyone. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> All right, uh, we have ahead. a couple more <laughs> pieces of news. Uh, TYO and Indy 184. This is the Matchbox van by TYO Toys. It's a 164th scale Matchbox van featuring Indy 184 fill on one side and Queen's Destroy logo on reverse. Includes Queen's Destroy mini Sharpie. Sharpie. Uh, by Indy 184 and Toys stickers. And these are limited to 200 pieces. They are $20 at Uh We have lots of stuff coming up exclusive-wise. A lot of exclusives have been announced already. So we'll just start covering a couple here and there since we still have a few weeks to go. So let's start with Hasbro. And we also, just to note, we also on the forum have a thread going in the to general toy discussion about Comic-Con exclusives. So if you'd like to keep up with any of that on the forum, you can. Uh, people are posting up stuff contribute. as they yeah as they find them they're posting them up there so come let us know if you have an exclusive put it up there so we could see it and share it and buy it i haven't seen these yet no all right so hasbro san diego comic-con exclusives for 2012 first up is the marvel universe masters of evil box set featuring three and three quarter inch versions of radioactive man tiger shark and team leader baron zemo that will be thirty dollars $30, three, three and three quarter inch figures. Eh. Uh, they also have the Marvel Legends Special Edition Uncanny X-Force Collector's Pack featuring six inch, six inch versions of Archangel, Wolverine, and Psylocke, all in costumes from the Fall of Archangel storyline. That will be $50 for three figures. Uh, from G.I. Joe, there are two Kim Arashikagi. Arashikaga? Arashikagi. Yeah. Can you say that better than me? A rush, no. <laughs> also known as Jinx. Uh, those two figures, there's going to be two figures, one in a red costume and one in a white costume. And then there's another G.I. Joe Transformers crossover. Uh, it's Shockwave Hiss Tank with exclusive Destro and Bat figure, as well as accessories like Energon cubes and a tiny non-transforming sound wave with cassettes. I think I'm going to have to get that one. Right? <laughs> that's I just that's, want the sound wave. That's the one I'm probably definitely going to get. Okay, we should talk because yeah. I need something from Hasbro too. Okay. We, okay. we need to do some line standing. <laughs> <laughs> Transformers Prime Zombie Cliff Jumper oh, shit. packaged in his zombie head. Also, Transformers Fall of Cybertron Bruticus with G1 metallic colors packaged in a book style box. What is a zombie cliff jumper? Uh, Transformers Prime? Right. Uh, cliff jumpers in episode one. And The Rock is his voice, and then oh, really? he gets killed in that episode. I didn't know The Rock was then, his voice. Then, like, it's a five-episode story or something like that, or maybe six, and he comes back as a zombie. and A zombie car? A zombie robot, yeah. They're robots. They're, They're more than meets the it's eye. It's Dark Energon. It's pretty awesome. Have you not? It's pretty <laughs> I've good never seen it. I love it. Is it? All right. Transformers Prime is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty solid show. Is it on Netflix? First season is, yeah. Oh, see? So I can you see can the zombie up. line? Yeah. Nice. All right. I'll watch it. You can also grab the Star Wars Lost Line packaging of seven pack. It's a seven pack of figures, including Jar Jar and Carbonite exclusive figure. Because don't we all need a Jar Jar and Carbonite? Actually, I want a Jar Jar and Carbonite. Do you really? Yeah. That's awesome. 
Nothing. Seven figures pack? So you need six want, other no, figures with it? I don't want to buy all of seven of them. All right, and the, the one thing that's worth going to the Hasbro booth for, my little pony, exclusive Comic-Con pony this year, is Derpy Hooves! 20 bucks. That's amazing. Nobody else cares about my little pony. What's a Derpy Hoove? <laughs> Sounds so, kind of dirty. So Derpy Hooves is a controversial little character that was a background pony in some of the first episodes and then came out. And the thing about her is... If you've seen the picture, have you seen, oh, I don't have the picture handy, but she's got like two eyes and they're going like opposite directions and she's kind of like, der, 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 derpy. The fans oh. named her Derpy. And then they <laughs> called her Derpy in one of the episodes and everybody was like, yay. Isn't that offensive? Well, that's the thing. Then that's all like these calling people, someone retarded. <laughs> yes, but then all these people were like, ponies are making fun of handicapped people. And it was not making fun. First of all, Derpy does not mean handicapped oh, in no. any way. It's, I forget what the official definition was, but anyway, bronies got very up in arms and started basically a petition and all these things online about Bring Derpy Back, because what they did is they redid the episode, so when you download it on oh. iTunes and stuff, they took, they made her eyes normal, redid her voice, so she's not kind of sounding as silly as she did before, but it kind of took the character away That's kind of weird, was. because then, th that's offensive. Yeah. Because I think now, that's you're saying, offensive. Yeah, that's now you're more saying, yeah, that's more offensive. Now you're saying she was retarded. Now you're saying she's and retarded re and that's and bad. And retarded. Right. Things shouldn't be on anything. Right. But, yeah, that's bad. Wait, go to YouTube and type <laughs> in Derpy Hooves. You'll find this video. It's so sad, it makes you want to cry. It's Derpy sitting on her, it's just her sitting in a little light, and she's like, I'm so sorry for offending everyone, <laughs> but I just want to thank every pony out there for letting me be who I am. And like you're, I mean, I'm wanting that's to cry awesome. just thinking about. Derby. I can't believe they changed it because that's offensive. Changing it's offensive. But here's the thing: so pictures are out of Derpy for Comic Con, and it's first of all amazing that com that they're doing that as the exclusive. But there's no title on it yet, so we don't know if she's called Derpy. Yeah. They're also saying she might be reused as Ditsy Do, who is another character. Okay. So Does it have the crazy eyes? Right now. Yeah. She's cool. derpy. It's awesome. Anyway, yeah. that's all at booth 3329 at San Diego Comic-Con. Prepare to wait in line. Well, good on Hasbro if they actually make it and call it derpy. Bad on them if they change it they and bow down to pressure. They better stupid. call it derpy because there are a, 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 there's going to be so many bronies that would be up in arms, up in paws, up in hooves. <laughs> I mean, I can't say anything. I got a squid on my head, but like, come on. I've tried to watch that show. Yeah. And I, it's amazing. I, I can't. You're not a brony. I can't watch it. Twilight Sparkle. Mm. I got other Derpy. good ones. While Young Justice is still on, I, I'm not going to watch My Little <laughs> Pony. All right. Even though I heard it's canceled, so. Oh, it is? That's what I've heard. I didn't know that. Which is heartbreaking because it's good. It's because they offended all the retarded people <laughs> and they won't watch anymore. <laughs> <gasps> All right, uh, I think it's blind box time. Okay. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! Haha! <laughs> blind box. What do we have today? Something. Oh, I didn't get a good one. Do you want a different one? one? Do you want this one? Well, what? Are, okay, How do you so know? This is, <laughs> know. This is Marvel Avengers grab zags. I think we opened these before once, didn't we? But I don't this know is if a we different series. Marvel Avengers ones. We may have opened just Marvel ones. Yeah, I remember yeah. Grab Zags because they're from the street. It says that there's a cool surprise in here, so if it I get better be. anything but a figure, I'm going to be disappointed. So it looks like you can get a little figure or a disc launcher or a skateboard. 100 oh. plus toys. I want Captain America. I want... But I don't Iron want Man. a skateboard and I don't want a disc launcher. <laughs> Man, you are... I want the Thor figure. You are strict on what you want. Oh. Do you want to trade? Should have traded with her. <laughs> traded with me and you got nothing. <laughs> Hulk smash. All right, so Nate's a little bit happier. I'm definitely happier. I got it. I won't say out. I, like I got it. a disc launcher and... <gasps> Fail. Oh, you squeezed it. Oh, sorry, Nate. <laughs> I Terrible. didn't think it was going to fall. Terrible. It's like a tiny Frisbee. With a picture of Loki on it. I couldn't care less about this thing. Ow! You want to trade? <laughs> oh, it worked! It actually, awesome! <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. I dig that back. How much are these? Uh, I think they're like $3. Huh? 
as I the would, Hulk. I would not risk three dollars to get a disc launcher or a skateboard. <laughs> this disc launcher is pretty cool. Dude, I'm gonna shoot Death you. Death is really good. It. Oh, I left a mark on your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Don't shoot at this close, kids. <laughs> This is dangerous. Actually, I like the disc launcher. This kind of looks like a Tokidoki ripoff. Yeah, for sure. It totally Figure. looks like Tokidoki. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> That's fun. Dude, try the launcher. You gotta at least try it. Change your mind. You can shoot me back if you want. I don't want to shoot her. She'll hurt me. Oh, nice. That's fun, right? I like disc launchers. I don't like paying three bucks for a disc launcher. <laughs> Thanks for not making me pay three bucks for this. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. This is what Toy Break does for you. We open it so you don't have to. All skip right, shall these. we? Uh, skip those. That's our. Probably skip those. But if you don't I mean, want to skip if you them, had a choice, if you could feel Obviously, the package, you're, you're biased because a Lego minifigure, I would much rather spend three dollars on a minifigure to, to guarantee me getting a cool minifigure. Than right. Well, if you can also I feel agree. in the package, and you you know, like we knew that that was a thin yeah. little, like you could probably feel that one's gonna be a figure. You might not yeah. know which one it is. Yeah, I'd still I buy would, the disc launchers. They're I would buy fun. the I would buy the figure. The figure's cool. Why is he on a little thing? Like, why is he jumping? Because he jumping. can't stand. But Hulk, why is he Hulk jumping? Jumps. He does Hulk jump. jump. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard him say that. <laughs> and the Ang Lee Hulk, he jumped a lot. He he did jump a lot, and that is why we don't talk about that movie. All right, let's move on I to like some that reviews. Movies. <laughs> Really? I do. I like Hulk. I can't help That's it. okay. <laughs> what do you got for reviews, George? Um, I don't oh, know. Oh, your neck. You have a little... <laughs> I don't know. Look I at his Discord. Like... That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So this Ooh, is... Nice, nice toss. <laughs> what is it? This is Fonzo. It's been all over the internet. It has been. This is Should by Freak sure. uh, Freak Store. Right? Freak Store. Uh, this is Freak Store's first vinyl toy release. Freak Store is Venezuela's premier designer toy shop. Obviously. And this toy is based on their French bulldog mascot. Fonzo. Who did it? Uh, this design on the mascot, on the Fonzo, is by Gary Hamm. Nice. Um, he is the first to do one on their mascot. They also will be selling blank mascots. So you want to oh. open that while you're looking? No, I'll do this one. Ooh, I like this box. It looks like wood, but it's not really. You know what I like that they hmm. did on the front? It's like Caribbean in there. Oh, it kind of does. I wasn't making that up. What'd you like about what? It's got the front, side, back, and cool. side. So That's you can kind of like do a little doodle if you want to figure out what it's going to look like. First. I always do a little doodle. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cute. Uh, Three points of our <laughs> What is that? That's for kicking me in the neck. <laughs> I'm getting punched. I don't know. Gary put that in the box. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> I don't want Gary to get all mad at me or nothing, but his uh -oh. signature totally looks like the H&M H &M store does. logo. It which totally is, which does. is so not, not cool. He totally looks like H and M. Oh no. I wonder if he knew. He wrote, Gary, do you shop at H and M? Gary, do you know there's a store called H and M that has your same logo? Well, maybe they took it after him. He's probably been yeah, around maybe. longer than H and M. Oh, that sucks. Can you change your signature after like you've already been doing it? Sure. <laughs> Nate gonna, approved. I'm gonna change you mine tomorrow. <laughs> whole name and everything. Yeah. I am now Fred. <laughs> So, reviews. Reviews. So, there's only it's... 200 of the regular edition. That's a pretty small regular edition. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's cute. It's very minimally articulated, just arms and neck, so three points. And take a look. It's very, like, designer vinyl-y. It's got that cartoony kind of shape to it with, you know, smooth lines. It's really weird to see it blank. Yeah. Like, it's... it doesn't look like a bulldog. It looks like an alien or something. It's weird that you can kind of see some eye indent. It's not like a nice smooth. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. It's like a slight bump. Oh yeah, there is a little in the contour. Which, you know, it's whatever. It's weird because it's not really on this one as much. Like you can't. Yeah. Is it there? It's like an optical. Oh, I guess it's kind of right there. I just don't know if it was necessary. How's the paint look? Clean? Looks clean. Yeah, it looks clean. It, for me, it's uh, transparent. Like the white 
Cause maybe it's just because it's on black, but the white's a little. Even the orange is you can see. Like you can almost see the black through it. Yeah. It's a little dark. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like look on his butt. That's, oh, yeah. there's a little overlap weird, on that. Weird but... stuff going on. I mean, it, it's clean. It's just not opaque. Gosh, it does, really does. Now that you said that, I'm that's sorry. all I can see. <laughs> that's funny. He's, um, I like I this know, Gary, version Gary, more than that. Talk to me after this. <laughs> <laughs> Gary will talk to you. Gary's cool. He'll just find something of mine to say it looks like something else. And then... <laughs> this looks like a Nintendo card, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's crazy. I really like that figure. I like the If you have Gary's bat simplicity. Hermes. Oh. Her- Hermes? <laughs> um this is like this is perfect. a perfect compliment to it to have it on your shelf with it. He's building an empire. Look, he's the new George. <laughs> I actually like this painted one way more than the blank. I don't really like the shape too much as a blank. Yeah, me too. I'm not real into it. But is that because we don't like the shape or are we over blanks? Or a little bit of both? I don't know, the shape just, as a blank, it looks, I don't know, this, this looks weird to me as right? a blank. It looks fine here because it's being used. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But as a blank, it's like, you got to do something with that Are you now. over blanks because you don't want to see blank figures or you don't like customizing or there are too many out there? I all think the it, above? I think it might be too many out there. It's <laughs> but you guys don't have like a collection of blank figures we used to we, yeah oh, really? we used to up there that whole shelf in the yeah. top used to be yeah. all blanks we've collected a I lot don't, of blank I don't figures. collect blank figures i make them i don't collect them right <laughs> but it almost okay here's what i think it is it's like nowadays back in my day we only had a few blank vinyl yeah. toys but now it's like every, every single toy has a blank yeah. version and i get why you do that because it helps offset production costs a little bit there's no paint, so it's very you know it's much cheaper to make. Mine, mine oh, costs just as much as really? everything else. Maybe I'm getting screwed. <laughs> um, and I sell them cheaper than everything else, but they cost the same. But you're gonna have to sell them. Good businessman, good businessman, good, business <laughs> good salesman. <laughs> Nate is on top of his work. <laughs> so visit no. Nate at Comic Con for, <laughs> yeah. some, for some Comic Con sales. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think it's just. There's so many blanks, and what am I going to do with more blanks? Yeah. No, if it's understandable. It, it's funny because I obviously make some, and it's not huge business. Like, I guess they're selling decent, but I think more people want to buy a fully painted, decorated figure, a finished, what most people would consider a finished product, because mm-hmm. not everybody's creative, and <laughs> not everybody likes to paint. Or True. design stuff. And right. I mean, at the conventions, I hear it quite a bit. And it's like, when I only had resins of stuff, they're like, do you have any that I don't have to do any work on? Right. Because, <laughs> I mean, because I do it sometimes, and I, I enjoy customizing sometimes. Not everybody's like that. Right. So the, the fraction of people that actually customize stuff is much smaller than the people that buy finished product. But, see, from the retailer himself. And I actually like, I, I don't, unless the piece is a really cool design that I want to see blank, I don't really, because I don't yeah. really customize a lot of stuff, because I do that don't for a living, yeah. so it's <laughs> like, I don't want to like, I don't want to spend my time like doodling a funny thing on this. Yeah. So I don't know, I much more appreciate the finished painted one. Well, here's another thing. Um, I don't know how much the blank is of this, but blanks have been a little bit ruined for me, because if I, ju- if I just want to... S- like make a custom of something you can go buy a kid robot blank for 10 bucks granted it's a kid robot blank but like there it's done it's a simple yeah. it's got a good shape they've got good shapes to them the money world series and it's 10 bucks yeah i mean so i like, can't eh. compete with their prices you know nobody can they're making yeah. mass quantities yeah. would you like to tell us how much fonzo is um i would love to tell you that 20 dollars no how much is it 60 dollars 60 dollars 60 dollars and when you buy Fonzo, there's a chance you could get a Secret Chase colorway in the box. There is. Um, he's black with a question mark. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> it's just a question mark right there. Right, right in his little mouthpiece. That's where it's at. Um, but the funny thing is, like, if you just open the top of the box and look in, you could see which one you're getting. Well, if you're ordering it in the mail, you can't do that. It's true. If you're in a store, you could do that. but Like, it's not sealed. It's not... But if you order it from freak.com.ve... 
which is their store. That's true. Do you know what their logo is? This I is. I think the, this is their logo. This. That? Oh, it looks like a poop. Yeah. Pile. Is it? It does look like. I don't know. Like it looked to me, I saw it online. Looking, looking like for a, poop. a larger. Maybe it's a French it. bulldog poop. Maybe. Mm, maybe. See how it ties in. Would you want poop in your logo? I want it's poop pretty, in everything. It's a pretty harsh review right here. Um, it's not though. Like I like the figure. I don't. Yeah. Well, I don't mean it to be hard. Bucks. 60 bucks, though. 60 bucks. Uh, 60 There's bucks? There's only 200. <laughs> There's only 200, only 300 of these. <laughs> Four feet for 60 bucks. Or six I mean, inches. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fair comparison, but, you know. So if you could get still... Gary Ham to do one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like, do you ever just have him, like, attack you and be like, ah! <laughs> well, you know what? Since, since we were not huge blank fans mm -hmm. why don't we give this blank away <gasps> let's do it to you um, or you so or you or you it's gonna go to someone who loves dogs because it's the shape of a bulldog okay so if you love dogs and you have a dog go to the forum go onto the show notes for two 19. whatever this is 19 and uh post a picture of your dog so you have to have a dog to win Tracy this yep to bearish and one. wait you know, he might he's, oh. he's got tucks Tux oh, hates that's Mondays. Right. That's right, right there. <laughs> hashtag Tux hates Mondays. I didn't know that was a hashtag. How do you not know about yeah, Tux I don't hates use Twitter. <laughs> it's maybe he can Instagram, win it then. It? For both. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, Tracy's everywhere. Yeah. He cool. could go on the so, forum and put up one of his pictures of his dog. What if you don't currently have a dog, but you nope, had it? You have to have a dog to win this. Wow. You have to have a picture of your dog. Do you have to be with your dog in the picture? Does your dog have to be doing something funny? I mean, it would help. I'm going to pick a random picture yeah, that I think is good. My brother's dog with a squib hat on. There you go. Send it in. <laughs> Post it up. You could win. The trick is we won't know if it's actually your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I know you personally, and I might know if it's your dog. Yeah. I mean, they could fake it, but... But don't. There's not, it's not going to have as much feeling. Where do they post it? In the forum under this episode. The forum, toybreak.com, and go to the forum. Toybreak.com slash... No, click on the forum button <laughs> and uh, post a picture of your dog. Cool. And you're going to win it. Somebody will. And freak.com.ve, you can go it check out poop. Gary's. Look, there's, that's a bigger... That's definitely that's like poop. a paturid, right? A paturid? A paturid. Why was there I a mean, pee? Is it a silent pee? Or is it a worm with a hat? What is that? I think it's just a fancy E. Fancy E. It looks e. like poop. It looks like poop. <laughs> it's poop E. He's, he's a dog. Dog's poop. All right. Get it? All right. Something else. Someone's going to win this poop. Since you're a plush guy... Yes. We have Mostly. a new plush. It's Stellina Unicorno plush from Tokidoki. It's a nine inch fleece plush. Goes for 20 bucks. Check it out. I'm a cute unicorn. My tag's as big as me. Why is this tag so big? Look at him. Look it's at the sell it. She, look at she, look at her. Tag also as big as me. Hand wash, air dry. Has Toki Doki done a My Little Pony? Yeah, My right Little Toki. <laughs> but like an actual, like a paint version of a My Little Pony? I don't think so. That would be a perfect Comic Con exclusive one year. That would be cute. Like a Toki Doki My Little Pony? That would sell like crazy. I like the colors on this. It's really bright. It's definitely like rainbow bright looking. It's totally rainbow bright. Rainbow bright meets My Little Pony. Yeah. Meets so Toki Doki. This is really cute and I mean it's not as soft as a squid. No. Squid's like a million times softer. Nice. It stands up. Hey. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's got embroidered little stars on it. It's got emo hair, though. Like, look at its front. Like, it's off to the side yeah. a little bit, like a little emo y. I mean, is the horn supposed to be off to the side? I don't know. Even? The whole thing's it's off center. It's an emo horn. <laughs> <laughs> horn mo. Dangerous. Wait, that sounds bad. <laughs> um, there's another plush. There's three plush in this series, and one of them is the most adorable little. It's huggable kaiju. Plush kaiju. It looks like a little. Adorable Godzilla. Hopefully we will have it on the show soon. I don't really have much else to say about that. It's cute. It's got shiny does this, does this make you think of any cartoon that's coming out soon? Because he da, has... Da, 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 circus. Da, 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 da. Afro circus. Afro circus. Afro. I actually love poke that. Poke it up. Poke it up. Poke it up. Afro. It's got it. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's in Conmito at the circus. I'm not a big fan of the Madagascar movies. But, but you love that commercial. That commercial is catchy as hell i'm gonna give you a high five for that mm. <laughs> i did like the first movie i didn't watch the other so yeah same here but didn't watch the second one i won't watch this one 
I'll, I'll just I just watch won't watch the YouTube. commercial yeah. over and over. <laughs> Somebody cut that out, just that piece on really? YouTube. Yeah. It's good. I think this is amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty brilliant. This will look better oh. as a vinyl. <laughs> yeah, they make them. They're the little blind box. Oh, no, is there? Yeah. <laughs> this big, though? I'd like this one. Oh, like this big. Yeah. I don't, I don't oh, it can fly. Small. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Done with that? that. Yep. All right, we have another plush. Do you watch Doctor Who? No. Do you care about Doctor Who? No. Do you care about plush? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Just oh. the one that's on my head. Oh, that's what she said. Um, so, <laughs> Adipose. This is an Adipose plush. Obviously, it's Doctor Who, which means it's from Underground Toys. Adipose Industries, you mean. Adipose Industries. It's an eight and a half inch plush from Doctor Who. It goes for $30. And it is way better than that squishy one that we killed in a toy break. 30 bucks? It's filled with beanies. It's from the UK. 30 bucks? Import, <laughs> import fees. I'm guessing it's not going to stand. There's... He has got a huge butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> For food, butt crack. <laughs> and so, front crack. <laughs> it's got a vagina. <laughs> um... So in the the story Loose with this knuckles. with this guy is he's a pound of oh, fat. Oh, he's better. He's better. He's a what? He's a pound of fat. That's gross. So That's, spoiler that... alert for the episode: it's a David Tennant episode, best doctor you ever. And basically, this industry is you take these pills and you lose all this fat very quickly. You lose a pound a day. But what happens is the when the you're pill... sleeping. Yeah, go ahead. The guy, well, when you're sleep when you're sleeping, a pound of your fat. Crawls out, <laughs> crawls away, and it becomes out a baby out of and it becomes what, out Slip of you, out of your of side. You. Like pulls off your pulls off your person. Ooh. Yeah, like that. And then it finds your like cat door, and it walks and it out. Leaves. And it leaves. And they're all happy, and they're like. <laughs> but they're like an army of them <laughs> at the end. Like they start to turn. Don't I, they turn evil and stuff? No, they're not evil. They're oh. like little babies. And they're, but they're taking over. I actually think it's no, super cute. Like, it is. I, the I like it. Industry a lot. isn't. They don't take over. They're like little baby infant things. <laughs> so that's how everyone was losing weight. Pound of fat. So there was like a bunch of these, and they're like, Kick. it would be nice if he stood. actually stood. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they could have almost done it, cheated the feet a little bit, make them a little mm. fatter or put something. That, put put some cardboard. Yeah, put some weight in the feet as well. But I was, I mean, I don't like Doctor Who, but you'd buy that little fat ball, right? Not for thirty, Not for 30 dollars. <laughs> but it's soft. It's fun. <laughs> what if it was I mean, $20? it's so simple. I also feel maybe twenty dollars. It looks exactly like the adipose from the show, but it's also, I feel like this is going to be a good, like... Couch pillow. Yeah, like, oh, I need something behind my head, quick. Yeah, he's going to get <sighs> dirty. Yeah. I'm not saying you're dirty, yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's <laughs> why so we keep the couch brown. <laughs> yeah. It was white when we got it. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So, I'm yeah. plush. That's it. I'm All excited right. about that plush. Oh, he's heavy. <laughs> he's and he's not all sticky and gross like that other one. He's got a poop. Yeah, that Maybe introduce him to the bulldog. Crack. All right, on to events. Just around the corner, we have Anime Expo at the Los Angeles Convention Center in Los Angeles, California, from June 29th to July 2nd. Hey, I know someone who's going to be there. This guy. Do you have a booth number? Or can people find you? If easily? I can remember it. Maybe they could go to squidkidsinc.com and find it? Probably not. Eh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they could find it in the book when they get there? I think it's the same, same one as last year, 836. This guy. Yeah. Look at you. You're magical. You're talented. Boom. 30 bucks? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but can you wear it on your head? Oh. Somebody's pretty I used to be this fat. And then he <laughs> snuck <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep going. Yep. Well, you know what comes after that. Countdown to Comic-Con! Countdown to Comic-Con! He said it! I, I want to hear the lightning. <laughs> it's in post. <laughs> it's all in post. We don't actually have lightning in the studio. When is that going to happen? Uh, Are they doing know. it again this year? They're doing it again this year. Who's doing what? Tell us about it. Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con. Pop culture uh. extravaganza at the convention center in San Diego, California. July 12th through the 15th. You sound, where do you get Is it comic-con.org? It's all sold out, so who cares? That's preview night. They don't count that as an official day. Mm -hmm. of the we shouldn't even talk about it because um, it's sold out. You sound out. like Nick Cage and Peggy Sue got married. No one when sounds like that. Yeah, you <laughs> that was the God. worst. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty amazing. 
Uh, no more events? No one has anything going on out there? Well, they need to send us information. Tell us about your events. Toy events. Toy events. Luke Chu has signings. Yeah, but they're done by up. the time. Oh, no, some of them are still No, gone. he has uh, two more signings coming up. Go to LukeChu.com. He's got a new art book that is released. Uh, when this goes up, one signing just happened, and there's two more coming up at... Uh, are they all LA? One is Giant Robot, and the yes. other is the Gallery 1988 uh, Venice uh, Oh, he's store. doing both Gallery 1988s? Yeah. Oh, cool. The Gallery 1988 first one has already passed by the time this right. goes up. But Venice and... Giant Robot. Giant Robot. So if you're in the LA area, obviously you like Luke Chu. That's weird because like all Go those three places are the, like the times. not that far apart from each yeah. other. But it's on different weekends. <laughs> yeah, but like how like Maybe you can't go to one. But like go to San Francisco for one of the signings. <laughs> like go like you There's all no time. Like, Comic Con's my, coming up. My signing is here and then next door and then the store down from that. <laughs> like that's like that's kind of weird. Yeah. All right. Well, don't forget you can save money to buy all these wonderful goodies coming up at Comic Con and to get your own mini Tendos. Ten bucks. Ten dough. It works. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. But Didn't mean to do that? Just works. a happy accident? You should totally sell them for like You're like, I'm making these 11. <laughs> these are going to be 11 dose. Maybe like Walmart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to give one of these away. Oh. This was the... To them? Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, first shot. You were, you were going to, first but shot. then I'm going to keep it instead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Are you really? No, I'm not. I'm oh, I was like... I would, I would love to keep it. I'm I might win. have one extra one. I might want to win. What I want to do is just get a stack of them and stack them like I used to keep my games. Mm -hmm. So you should buy two of every one so that you can make a stack and then you can have them up. I'm just going to have a pile they, of hands They somewhere. work pretty good as dominoes, too. Oh, whether, hey. whether that's on purpose or not, it's uh, they have oh. standing with the, with the feet. Le with legs. Oh, okay. okay. I Got just it. want to stack. I'm going to get all of them and stack them. You can't I see the adorable. labels. Yeah, you can pull them out and blow on them and have fun with it. <laughs> You're crushing you. people's dreams so, right there. Well, they should have <laughs> put amazing. more time into this part. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, maybe you want to tell people what a first shot is in case. Yeah, what is many this fans piece? That don't first know shot. Is. That's. Why is it a different color? Because <laughs> it's pretty. I think we covered this last episode I was on. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and um, watch it. Yeah, it's the first uh, kind of test shot coming out of the tool. So they use whatever plastic they have. And. Uh, it still has imperfections, still has loose arms, doesn't have the made by ski on there, doesn't have the made in China, doesn't have uh, nice surfacing. <laughs> so, and obviously a different color, yeah. color, like you said. Yeah. So what happens when so. you make a toy is the first, when you, when you make your steel mold, they run one out of it to make sure that it's basically where it's going to be before they finalize the mold and put all the final finishing touches on. So this one is a pull that is unlike any of the ones you'll ever buy. Um, even though it is, you know, not completely the same, it's something that's a lot more rare. And there's only a few of it in the So you're saying uh, that it's very rare and I need it for my collection. Yes. So this guy is early on because I have the three, or three screw poles, posts, but on the inside, at the top here, I have friction fit pegs on the inside. Mm. Oh. So even if you unscrewed him, he wouldn't come apart. You'd have to break him a little bit to, oh, interesting. to get him apart. So but this, you can take that one apart. Yeah, this one is completely take apartable and loose hands. <laughs> but yeah. Just loose hands sink something. Oh, yes. And the feet aren't polished or unpolished because it's got a matte finish to them. These are still kind of. A little glossy. Oh yeah, I like the matte finish. Yeah. So that's amazing to give this away. How would you like to, uh, to do that? Throw it at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw um, it out your front door. Maybe if somebody <laughs> will catch it. Uh, maybe you could have people follow you on Twitter or Facebook. Yes. Or Instagram. Like like, like me on Facebook. There or you go. Instagram or like something. Pick, let's yeah. pick one. Pick one, because then it'd be easier. To I need more out. likes on Facebook. Okay, right, so, so like Squid Kids Inc. on Facebook. It's super easy. And then at some point uh, soon, from from this date, from the date this goes up until between now and Comic Con, yes. Yes, I will. I'll choose one of those. Okay, so you I have don't until. Know how. Okay. All right, you know, you <laughs> um, when this episode goes up, I will go to Squid Kids Facebook page mm -hmm. and I'll start a post. 
and they have to like Squid Kids and then like that post. And we'll Sounds choose good. one of the people that like that post that want to win this. Did you hear that? Like Squid Kids and the post. Sounds like you've done like. contests before. No. Nope, this is our first time. <laughs> it's my first time. <laughs> this is our first time on the internet. It's kind of scary. Ooh. So that's awesome. Thanks for giving that away. That's really yeah, cool. That's sure. amazing. I'm going to like first post too because I'm going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> and but if I, I win. choose me. <laughs> <laughs> You're picking. I can't. I, it's not oh. me choosing. I choose me. <laughs> I choose you, Pikachu. Yep. All right. So don't forget, you can save money with coupon codes online. You can check out all the details at toybreak.com in the show notes for this show and every show. You can watch all past episodes. Uh, you can join the contests and the discussions in the forum. You can check out our goodies. We have paper toys of us, three different kinds. We have by Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Castle for it. You can support the show by doing stuff you do every day, which is buy crap on Amazon, because I know that's what I do every day. Uh, just go to toybreak.com, click the Amazon link in the, the on the left-hand side of the page, and uh, that is just buy your stuff as regular. Buy your your birthday can cake candles and your batteries and your VHS. <laughs> is that all you go to Amazon for? And, uh, <laughs> your cereal. Yeah, you can buy all that stuff. You can there. buy Sharpies on there. There you go, you buy your Sharpies. You can buy anything on Amazon. That really software. helps, though. And then tweet us what you bought. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think we need to start reading out what people bought. We'll, we'll tweet do that us. soon. Yeah. Tweet us. Tweet us what you bought so we know. Also, you can call and leave us a voicemail just like Rob Rogowski did. Did I say his name right? You did. Oh, good. You can call us at 818 I Good. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. Tell us about upcoming toy shows. You can keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. He's Check illustrated out. a children's book, you know. You can buy his book. Really? You could go to Amazon, buy the book that Rob Rogowski <laughs> illustrated, go through the Toy Break link, and we make a little piece of cash for it. That's awesome. I think. Oh, I mean, and it I, doesn't cost you a cent. I think I bought it on Amazon. So. Well, it costs you a cent to buy the book. <laughs> That's awesome. Good idea. Uh, you can also check out our briefs and full episodes at youtube.com slash toy break. You can follow us on Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. Your turn. At Squid Kids Inc. Sure. I think that's <laughs> probably. it. Probably. <laughs> it's probably. Check the show notes. Some of them might have a dash in between the words. We'll check. I'm it, terrible it's in the show step. notes. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about it. We have got to end this episode because it's so hot in here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Squib so is inking all over my face. <laughs> it's warm. It's it's not, comfortable though. Not summer attire. It is not summer attire. I not could wear this. This is for this is for snowboarding. This is in keeping the my ears warm though, yeah. which I like. Do you need your ears to be warm right now? It's like 500 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> Nate, would you do us the honor of taking us out with the famous now famous words? Now here's your toy break. <laughs> <laughs>